Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, thanks for stopping by. My name's Tolu and on this channel I share content all around personal finance, budgeting, frugal living and I show you how to live your best life on a budget. So in today's video guys, what I'm going to be doing is showing you my new budget template. So if you watched my last video where I shared my closing budget for 2020, you would have seen a brief introduction to this budget template. But in today's video, what I really want to do is do a thorough walkthrough, basically showing you exactly how the template works, showing you all the different tabs, showing you all the different worksheets so that you can take this budget template and apply it to your finances and be able to smash it with your financial goals in 2021. This budget template is available for immediate purchase. I'll link to it in the description box below so you can grab yourself a copy, watch this video, see how it all works and use it to plan your finances for the rest of the year. But with that being said, I'm going to jump right into the spreadsheet for you now. When you open the planner, it will open up onto this tab where it says start here and there you have the instructions which basically tell you exactly how to use the different tabs within the spreadsheet. But I'm of course going to walk you through them right now. So the first tab that we have is a weekly income tracker and I've deliberately done it as a weekly tracker so that it can work for anybody regardless of whether you're paid weekly monthly or fortnightly so in my household my husband's paid on a weekly basis and before I used to get paid on a monthly basis having this kind of income tracker meant that we were able to track both of our incomes on the same spreadsheet so my husband would just insert his salary on a weekly basis and then I will add mine on the fourth or the fifth week depending on when I got paid for the month and then the total column which you see here would literally add up all our different salaries and incomes for the various week for the month and that's literally the weekly tracker and then if you scroll all the way to the end of the weekly tracker you will see the grand totals in the final column so what that does is it takes the totals from each month and gives you the grand total so you can see the total income from every single income stream for that month oh yeah one thing that i didn't mention as well actually is that there's a specific reason why i've done seven rows for income because I think the goal is to have seven streams of income. I think that's a nice goal for everyone to work towards having. So obviously you have your day job, which is your first stream of income. If you're a two income household, then you'll have that as your first two streams of income. But then the goal will be then for you to each add an additional stream of income until you get to the optimum number of seven different streams of income. You can go from having one income to zero incomes very quickly. So it's best to do what you can to increase your income stream so that if one dries up, you have a second or a third that you can fall back on. So then the next tab that we have here is the monthly track now this tab you don't have to do anything to it all the numbers are auto populated from the numbers in which you input it into the weekly income tracker so once you plug all your numbers in on a weekly tracker the monthly one just fills itself out all it does is it takes all the monthly totals from the weekly tracker and it populates it here so that you can easily see in one single snapshot how much you've earned that month and then you've got a chart below that shows you exactly how much has come in from each stream of income so you can see a snapshot of the income that you've received over the course of a year so then moving on to the next tab, we've got your weekly expenses tracker. So this is the thing that I showed in my last video where I showed our budget walkthrough for 2020 and I showed you exactly how much we spent in our different spending categories. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it up here so that you can go and watch that and see how much we spent in the year. So this expenses tracker is basically for you to track your expenses on a weekly basis. Now you can if you want to update it on a daily basis, but for myself and my husband, it works for us to just once a week get together and go through the numbers and update our expenses for the week to see how we've done that week. And if I just zoom in a bit make it a bit bigger because that's quite small so what I've done is I've included the categories that we have for our home so we've got food home utilities giving etc all the way down to I think you've got debt savings and investing so for each category I've included six rows for you to add whatever the subcategory is that you want to put there but you can also if you want to completely change the category you can delete investing and put sink in fund or do whatever you want with the categories there's 13 categories in total so you can literally change them as you wish those are the categories for you to track all your expenses. What I should also note is that I've done five weeks for every single month. And that's because most months are four weeks, but then there's the odd month that you might have five Fridays within that week. So then it's kind of like a five week month. So I've just done one to five for every single month. So some months you might not have nothing in the fifth column and that's totally fine. The totals going down show you how much you have spent for each subcategory. And then the totals going across show you how much you have spent each week. And then if you scroll all the way to the end of the expenses tracker, it tells you your grand totals. You can see at the end of the year, a snapshot of how much you've actually spent 
for your different spending categories throughout the year so when you scroll all the way to the bottom it will give you your grand total how much you spent in the year so for this example that I've done oh yeah I should have mentioned actually that the numbers in the spreadsheet are all fictional they're not my real numbers or anything like that I've just populated the spreadsheet with numbers just so that you can see a live example of how the template would work if you were to use it okay so then moving on to the expenses tracker monthly so just like with the weekly tracker the monthly version of it you don't have to do anything it's all auto populated the same thing is true for the expenses tracker so you don't need to do anything in the monthly expenses tracker once you've put all your numbers into the weekly tracker the monthly version is auto populated so with the monthly tracker all it does is it takes your expenses from the weekly tracker and then it auto populates it into the monthly tracker and shows you a snapshot view of your expenses for the month so here we can see straight away the totals for each month for each subcategory and each category and then here we've got a table that shows you a summary of each category whereas this table shows you the breakdown of each subcategory the table on the right just gives you the overarching category so you can see exactly how much you spent for food home utilities etc etc whatever the categories are that you've decided to use anyway for your 13 categories they will automatically be populated here and then it'll show you a snapshot view of how much you spent each month for those different categories the graph below shows you exactly where all your money's been going throughout the year for the different expense categories so you get a snapshot view here and it's good to kind of see a trend or any patterns that have emerged as the year has gone on okay so now moving on to the final part but the best part and probably the most important part of the whole spreadsheet which is the actual budget template so these are the budget templates where you can do the zero based budgeting method and make a plan for your money once you've been paid so once you've noted your income for the month you know exactly how much you have to play with for the following month you can then take that money and assign it to the different budget categories here allocate all of that money to the different subcategories until you reach a balance of zero so if i take this january for example january's income is made up of December's pay. The idea is that all the pay that we've accumulated for December is the money in which we're gonna now use to spend in January. So you just input your income figures here from December and use that for January. So in this illustration, income from December was 3,000 pounds. So what we're gonna do is budget all of that three thousand pounds to allocate it to all the different categories so we've allocated 250 pounds to groceries 30 pounds to take away that's 280 of the three thousand that we've now allocated to food then we move on to the next category and we've said 900 pounds for mortgage 50 pounds for mortgage overpayment 135 pounds for council tax and then that's given us a total of oh gosh a total of £1,085 and you get the gist and that's literally what you would do basically go through all your different categories and allocate all of that £3,000 until you get to the end and you have a balance of zero so that means we've given all of that money all of that paycheck and assignment to do at the start of the month so that way none of the money goes missing all of the money has been given an assignment to do and all of the money we've made plans for it in advance so then moving on to the actual column and that is auto populated from the numbers in which you've imported into your expenses tracker so the expenses tracker which you are updating on a weekly basis those numbers which you've entered there are going to be populated here in the actual column for that month so we know exactly how much you spent versus how much you said you were going to spend for that month that way you will see straight away how well you're performing against the budget in which you set yourself the numbers in this actual column would be made up of the numbers in which you put in your weekly tracker for the month of January so if I jump to the other tab you'll see exactly what I mean so if we take for example food you can see that the actual cost for food for January was 280 pounds let me double check that that is correct so if we go to expenses tracker monthly and we go to food for January yep it's 280 pounds and that is automatically done so you don't have to do anything to the formula in order for these numbers to be added it just automatically gets generated from what you've been tracking on your expenses tracker on a weekly basis the next column that you have here is the difference column and that shows you the difference between how much you said you were going to spend and how much you actually spend because there's one thing saying that you're going to spend 250 on food but then if the actuals reflect that you spent 350 pounds on food then you know that you've gone 100 pounds over your food budget so what you're going to want to do is find ways to reduce your other categories so that the budget still at the end of the month balances out because what you'll find if I scroll down to the end of the spreadsheet what you'll see 
is that the grand total of expenses in the actuals should equal the same as it does in the estimated and if it doesn't then that means you've either overspent or underspent so in this example that i've given we've underspent by 61 pounds 2p which is fantastic that means we came in under budget which then means that that 61 pound 2p which you didn't spend in january you have available now to spend in february so what you're going to find in the february tab if i show you now so if we click on february and you go to your opening balance that 61 pound 2p which we didn't spend is the opening balance for the following month so whatever your closing balance is on a previous month that will automatically be the opening balance for the following month okay so going back to the january tab and if we look at this table on the right so this table over here is a snapshot view of how much you said you were going to spend versus how much you spent across your different budget categories so there's 13 different categories that you have this is going to show you exactly how well you performed each month against each of those categories side by side these numbers are automatically populated by the numbers in your budget so you don't need to worry about filling out this table it automatically is populated for you and then at the bottom we have a table which shows you side by side your actuals and your estimated so you can see how much you actually spent versus how much you said you were going to spend in chart form and then below that you have two pie charts which show you how much you spent per budget category so you can see how much of your income has gone to the different budget categories the version that you guys are going to purchase is an excel version and that version has the actual percentages on it so you can actually see the percentage split so that's literally the budget planner in a nutshell let me know in the comment section what you think of this budget planner let me know if it's something that you could see yourself using let me know if you have any questions or any comments about the budget planner how it works how you can get started using your own one leave any questions in the comment section below and i'll definitely get back to you alternatively you can drop me a dm over on instagram and i'll get back to you or send me an email whichever way works for you the main thing is that i really want this budget template to help you guys manage your finances effectively in the same way it's been helping me and my family for the past number of years i mean last year we were able to overpay our mortgage by four thousand pounds despite me losing my job last year and us going from a two income household to a one income household this budget was definitely the catalyst and was definitely what helped us stay on top of our finances stick to our budget and stick to the plan for our money for the year so i hope that in the same way it's helped me and my household to to manage our finances properly i hope it's going to help you manage your finances well too so that's literally it for this video guys if you have any questions like i said let me know and i'll get back to you give this video a thumbs up if you haven't yet done so subscribe to my channel if you've not yet subscribed grab a copy of the budget planner via the link below and i will see you on my next video thanks for watching guys bye